Okay, folks, let's talk about uh, the sum and difference identities. That's what we talked about in class today. So let's get started. So on the back of your um, your blue card stock that I gave you, um, what you should see is you should see these sum and difference identities. Um, this is in their condensed form. So sine of alpha plus or minus beta, sine cosine. What I want to show you is this is kind of how we expand it out. What it's saying is that the sine of a sum of two angles is equal to the sine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle plus cosine of the first angle times sine of the second angle. And, and thus, so we have four different ones. We have sum of sines, difference of sines, sum of cosines, difference of cosines. So here's the deal. The way that we work out these problems is, and I'll start with the, um, the degrees. Cosine 75. Cosine 75 is not on the unit circle. So again, 75 degrees, nowhere on the unit circle. But what I want to do is I want to look and see, is there anywhere on here where I can add two angles together that are on the unit circle and get um, that number I'm looking for? And in that case, 45 and 30. If I add those together, I get 75, 45 plus 30. So what I can do is I can rewrite this as cosine of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. So now it's a sum. Now what I'll do is I'll look up here and I'll see, oh, we got a cosine of a sum, cosine of a sum. So we have cosine of A plus B equals cosine A, cosine B minus sine A, sine B. So that's one of those ones where it's a little different. Now, <laughs> what I have is that I have this, I have cosine 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. So what that is, is um, my A is 30, my B is 45. So this will be cosine of 30 degrees, cosine of 45 degrees, minus sine of 30 degrees, sine of 45 degrees. And now I can go to my unit circle and I can pull those numbers off. So if you remember, when we look at the unit circle, the way the points are made up are x, y, and x, y is cosine, sine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for 30 degrees. 30 degrees is right here, cosine is the first number. This is my cosine part, this is my sine part. So this is gonna be root three over two. Cosine of 45 degrees is gonna be the first part, it's root two over two. Minus, now we do sine of 30, sine of 30 is the other half, one half. And then sine of 45 is root two over two. So now we have root two over two. So now what we've done is we've broken it down into components. Now we can multiply. The way we multiply is we multiply across the top. So root three times root two is the same as root three times two, which is the same as root six. So this thing right here is root six. Two times two is four. So it's root six over four minus one times root two is root two over four, two times two. Common denominator, so I can put it back together, root six minus root two over four, and that's the answer right there, root six minus root two over four. And it works on all of them. So if I add this with sine, again, I gotta figure out something that makes sine 105. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and look and see anything here. I'd say stick with quadrants one and two if you can. So in this case, if I look here, 60 and 45, that gives me 105. So that tells me I can do sine of 60 plus 45. So now what that does is it's a sine of a sum. So if we look up here, sine of the sum is sine of the first, cosine second, cosine first, sine second. So what that says is, is that the sine of A plus B equals sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B. So I'm talking about sine of 60 plus 45, 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. So this becomes sine 60 degrees, cosine 45 degrees, plus cosine 60 degrees, sine 45 degrees. And again, I'm just gonna go and read it from the circle. So. My 60 degree sine is uh, root three over two. So this is root three over two. Cosine of 45 is root two over two. When I look at the unit circle, the cosine of 60 is gonna be one over two. And the sine of 45 is gonna be root two over two. 
root three times root two gives me root six, two times two gives me four, plus one times root two gives me root two, two times two gives me four. So this becomes root six plus root two over four. And what I had said was get comfortable with those answers because that's oftentimes what the answer is going to be. It's going to be a lot of root sixes, a lot of root twos, and always over four. So <clears throat> that's how we do it with degrees. Now I want to talk about how we do this with um, radians. So the way we need to do this with radians is I want you to think about all of these um, angle measures. I'm going to put them over a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this guy 2 pi over 12 because that's the same as pi over 6. This guy is the same as 3 pi over 12. This guy is the same as 4 pi over 12. This is the same as 6 pi over 12. This one is the same as 8 pi over 12. This one is the same as 9 pi over 12. This one right here is the same as 10 pi over 12. And that's going to get us to the majority of our cases. So now, what I want to look at is sine of 11 pi over 12. So notice, when I look around the circle, there is no 11 pi over 12. It would be in here somewhere, but I don't have it. So what I want to do is I want to look at, are there two measures in radians that add up to 11 pi over 12? Well, 9 pi over 12 plus 2 pi over 12. 9 plus 2 is 11. So what I can do here is I can write this as sine of 9 pi over 12 plus 2 pi over 12. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to call this sine of 3 pi over 4, which is what it is, plus pi over 6. And now I follow the same logic that I did before. This is a uh, sine sum. So what it's going to be is it's going to be the sine of the first, 3 pi over 4, times cosine of the second, pi over 6 plus cosine of the first, 3 pi over 4, times sine of the second, pi over 6. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read this off the chart. So 3 pi over 4. The sine is root 2 over 2. So it's going to be root 2 over 2. This is going to be negative root 2, negative root 2 over 2. Um, pi over 6. Cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. So it's going to be 1 over 2. So now when I multiply, I get root 6 over 4 plus negative root 2 over 4. So this is going to give me root 6 minus root 2 over 4. So again, the big deal on this one is what you want to pay attention to is, is that conversion factor. So again, make sure you make notes of that because that's going to help quite a bit. Um, but the whole point of this is what we're trying to do is take one measurement in degrees or radius, split it up into two. And then what our goal is, is to use one of these four formulas. So we worked on uh, the first six questions as practice today. So I ask that you just try that. Um, we'll be moving on and finishing off the backside tomorrow, uh, tomorrow Thursday. So uh, please email me if you have any questions. Hopefully that helped.